hitting into the ground a little bit more than my stock seven iron and finishing like Tommy Fleetwood where I'm just gonna, I'm gonna finish sawed off, you know, kind of right there. Try to keep the ball nice and low. Never miss the latest videos from the people who help you play better golf. Hit subscribe here. We are joined today by Jim Knaus. And Jim, we want to talk about flighting the golf ball. Uh, so many students and, and you at home always ask, you know, how do I hit the ball higher? How do I hit it lower um, versus just their stock option? You know, and I think just starting there is an important piece of it because, you know, really you're not trying to flight the ball a lot when you're out playing, are you? Right. Sure, Brad. No, most of the time, 95% of the time on the golf course, I'm just going to hit a stock normal seven iron. If we're talking about seven iron, a normal shot for me is just my normal swing at 90% power and just trying to hit, hit the green, hit the middle of the green or maybe aim at the flag stick if, if we need a birdie. No, and that's key right there, what you just said was 90% power. I mean, so many of you at home are swinging at 100 or 105% sometimes, but his stock seven iron is 90%, which is so key because it gives you so much more control over the ball, right? Right, right. I know, I know if it's going straight, right to left, left to right. If you're swinging 100% all the time, you don't know where it's going, right to left. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about the higher shot. First, kind of when you might, you know, try to attempt that shot on the golf course, what calls for that? And then just maybe how you set up different from a stock option to trying to hit it higher and if you adjust anything there with your body to, to do that. Yeah, the, the really the only times I'm going to try to hit it higher is if, if there's a flag stick that's tucked behind a bunker in, in the front of the green and I want to launch it high and bring it in nice and soft um, for that birdie. Or if you're downwind and you want to carry it a little bit farther and you want to launch it high, say your normal seven iron is 175 yards and you're downwind, but you have 185 yards. If you can launch it high, it'll just stay in the air and, and carry that extra 10 yards. So when it comes to setup, my standard seven iron is going to be just slightly ahead of center in, uh, in my stance, ball position wise. I'm going to be standing nice and tall. And then I'm just going to make my 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 normal 90% swing. This is just a stock, a stock uh, seven iron. Whereas if we're looking at wanting to hit a high, a high shot, I'm going to move the ball up in my stance just a tad. I'm going to stand really tall, try to get even even taller. And when I finish, I want to finish really high and exaggerate that finish. So I, I launch it way up in the air, you know, kind of an, an exaggerated um, tall finish, a high finish. Nice. That's definitely higher. Yeah. Very good. So to summarize that, you want to move the ball up in your stance and set up a little bit taller to help with kind of getting through the ball and finishing taller. Is mm -hmm. that kind of the idea of being taller in your setup for yeah, you? Yeah, that's it for me. And I and most of the time I'm just going to pick it clean off the ground. Yeah. Um, whereas hitting down on it, you know, hitting a low shot, we're going to hit down into the ground. Yeah, it kind of gets the hands shuffling more forward mm -hmm. to bring that thing out lower, which brings us right into how to hit a lower shot, right? So when when do you try to flight the ball lower when you're out playing? Yeah, lower shot will come into play. Like if you have a if you have a back pin, let's say, and you want to drive one in there, and it might release a little bit to the back pin. Or if you're hitting into a significant wind, and you want to keep the ball low so you can control that dispersion, like we were talking about, um, and kind of control the distance a little bit better than if you if you flight it high into the wind. So, so what I'm going to do for that shot is. Again, just move the ball position just back in our stance just a little bit, kind of like where we might play a pitching wedge, right in the middle of the stance. Choke up a little bit on the seven iron. That'll naturally bring us a little bit closer into the ball. And then all I'm going to really do is focus on staying down, hitting into the ground a little bit more than my stock seven iron, and finishing like Tommy Fleetwood, where I'm just going to, I'm going to finish sawed off, you know, Kind of right there. Try to keep the ball nice and low. Nice. 
Definitely lower. Just like that. You could definitely see the, the three different windows there you hit through. That was excellent. So to keep the ball lower, we move the ball back in our stance. And we kind of want to finish a little bit more abbreviated and, and shorter through the follow through. Now, does that help just kind of slow maybe the swing down to take spin off of it? Or you just feel like that just helps you hit more down and keep it lower for you? Yeah, for me, it just feels like it helps me feel like I'm hitting down and really just keeping that ball nice and low. Yeah. So if you want to get better at flighting shots higher and lower, or just in general, making better contact and playing better golf, what you want to do is head to golftech.com and find a coach near you.